Good morning! It is Wednesday. Maybe some of you have kids back in school, maybe some of you don't. It's a crazy time with different start periods. So hopefully you have some free time and are able to join me today and have a good workout. Make sure that you are healthy enough for exercise and make sure that you have plenty of space to move. We are going to be using a ball or something similar if you have a throw pillow, a rolled up beach towel, a stuffed animal, something like that, um, if you don't have an actual ball. Something to use for light weights. So if you have something like canned food or water bottles that you can use, and uh, we're gonna have a chair or a countertop. So if you can have that handy for when we get to that part. We'll start with about a 10 minute warm up. We'll move into a section of arms and legs. We'll go down to the mat for some core, and then we'll have a nice long stretch at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. Come to your space. I want you to just have your feet about hip width apart, and then we're gonna start with a nice few deep breaths. Breathe in and out. Take it in and out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Really take a second to ground your feet. Feel where your toes and your heels connect with the mat. Last one. Bring your hands up together, one on top of the other. We're gonna start with just a little twist. Just making it small to start, a little rotation as you bring up the knee. Nice work. Let's make it a little bigger. Reach up, hip, and a little twist. Bring it up, we switch sides, starting small. A few more. Make it bigger. More of that rotation through the torso. Last one. Nice work. I want you to bring your feet so they're just about shoulder width apart. We're going to start with some basic squats. We're not going to start too deep. We're just warming up. Just press that booty back behind you. Keep the knees behind the toes. Chest is... Breathe. And smile. <laughs> we're happy to be here. Alright, we're going to change it up a little bit. Pop that right heel. Pop the left. Lift the right, lift the left, breathe, nice work, keep it going, now hold, little pulse up, 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 think of lifting up through the head, and hold it here, You're okay. Nice work. Bring it up. We're going to take it down. Lift. Swing. Lift. Woo! Lift. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it down. We do the other side. Woo! Lift. Four more. Last one. Bring it down to a nice wide plie. We're just going to go down and up. This time I want you to sink a little deeper. Drop that booty in between your heels. We're going slow. See if you can sink just a little bit deeper. 
Nice job. Whew. Can you bring yourself parallel? Those upper thighs parallel to the floor. If not, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Last one. Just hold here for just a minute. And then I want you to take that chest forward. Little cat and cow as we stand. Nice job. Keep it going. And bring it up. Okay, we're going to come to the end of our mat and we're going to walk it out to a plank position. So hinge forward at the hips, walk it out. And I want you to hold it here for just a second. We're not going to hang out too long. And then I want you to cross that right heel over the left and we press up. Bring it down. Lift those hips. Bring it down. Lift. Bring it down. Lift. Bring it down. Uncross that leg. Lift into downward dog. Really press into those heels. Get that nice stretch. Then we're going to cross the left ankle over the right. Bring it out to plank and lift, plank and lift. Nice work, plank and lift, plank and lift. Bring it back down to your plank, uncross those legs, drop the knees, set your hips so they are back behind your hips, or you're saying they're not. <laughs> marble mouth. So I want you to make sure that your hips are um, in front of your knees, not over them. Hands are going to come close together. We're going to go halfway down. Bring it back up. Focus on those triceps. Keep the elbows close to the body. Breathe. Bring it up. Bring that right hand into the center. We open out, out. Different kind of rotation here. Those hips are stationary. Switch your hands. We open out, 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 out. Bring it down. Spread the knees. Toes are touching. Sit back into child's pose. our warm-up. Let's grab a drink. Having some water handy is a good thing. It seems like there might be just a few technical difficulties today, so if it cuts out on you, just refresh the screen and it should bring you back into it. I hope nobody's having too much trouble watching. Okay, we're going to jump right into our arm and leg section. You're going to want to grab your weights. We're going to come back to our wide plie stance. We want the knees behind the toes, and I want you to make sure that your knees are not collapsing forward. So bring those knees so that they're in line with the toes, and also make sure that the knees stay behind the toes. Nice and wide, and then settle those hips down a little bit low. Bring your weights in front. If the weights get too heavy and you need to drop them, that's fine. Don't feel like you have to push yourself. We're going to make a circle with our arms so they're away from our chest. And then we are going to pop a heel and twist. Keeping those elbows up. We're getting a little core in here as we work on some legs and arms. Kind of a full body thing. Two more. 
we're going to do a little half range. If you want, you can keep that heel straight up or you can do a little baby lift where the heel doesn't quite drop all the way. Last one. Hold that heel up. We do a little pulse, pulse, pulse. A few inches of twist here. Don't forget to breathe. Woo! Hold. Bring those weights down. We pop as we curl. Pop and curl. Whew. Nice work. Bring it down. Come to the center. We're going to do a little serve. Serve it forward. Breathe. Just a little break in between sides. Nice job. Are you holding your plie still? If not, go ahead and get back into that plie position. Weights are going to come out in front. Twist. 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 Nice and strong. Elbows lifted, shoulders dropped. Two more. Here comes that half range. Don't forget to breathe. Little baby pulse, keeping the heel up. Give me four, three, two, one. Drop the heel, we curl. Keep on breathing. Nice job! Woo! Give those shoulders a couple of rolls. Holding those weights up is some tricky business. <laughs> nice work. Let's go ahead and grab our chair or counter. And then you're going to want your ball as well, or whatever you're using as a substitute. Just something that has a little bit of give, a little squishy. We're going to put that behind our right knee, and then I want you to make sure that your standing leg has a little bit of bend in that knee. Don't lock it out. We're going to bring forearms down, and I want you to think of keeping your chest lifted. I don't want you like this, and I don't want you overarching. So just kind of a nice straight line. Woo! from the top of your head down out your tailbone. Nice flat arms and then flex that foot and we're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Keep the knee pointed towards the mat. Don't let it flare out to one side. Lift, lift. Nice work. Two more. We're going to do a little half range. All the way up, halfway down. Keep on going. Bend in that standing leg. Hold it here. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Four more squeezes. And hold that squeeze. Hold it tight. <laughs> Woo! I know you might be burning. Find that strength. And then we lift out to the side. Lift. Lift. Take it out. Lift. Lift. It's going to engage some different muscles here. Last one. Excellent work. <laughs> Take a little breath here. We're going to do the other side, of course. So switch so that that ball is behind your left knee. Get in all of your same stance, flat forearms, little bend in the standing leg. Flex the foot. Here we go. Lift. Lift. Making sure that you're not overarching your back. Engage that core to help you find stability. 
Give me four more. All right, we do the half range all the way up, halfway down. Knee pointed towards the mat. Good work. Hold it here, squeeze that ball. Squeeze, this is our pulse. Tiny little squeezes. Hold, woo, keep on holding. <laughs> Almost there, and then we're gonna take it out to the side. Lift that knee, lift, lift. Lift, woo, four, three, two, one, nice work. Come on up, go ahead and put that ball out of the way. Let's grab a drink. Make sure that you're drinking plenty today, not only to hydrate during this class, but just in general, keep those muscles lubricated. We're going to do a little curtsy lunge next. And again, I want you to think of having like really nice posture. Then you've got two different choices here. On the standing leg, you can either keep your heel off the ground and it's going to really amp up the exercise, or you can keep that standing leg foot flat on the floor. It's up to you, just whatever you feel like you want to do today. We're going to be moving the right leg to start. The left leg is just our little support. Um, you don't have to use a chair or a counter. Uh, it's just kind of there to help with stability. So don't be putting your weight into that chair. It's just there to kind of help you, you know, have support and stability. So we're going to take that leg into the front, foot to the knee, into the back, foot to the knee. Plie, or sorry, not plie, curtsy. <laughs> I am curtsy, curtsy, curtsy. Nice work. Keep the chest lifted, eyes forward. Keep it going. Woo! We're going to hold it in the front, little half range. Control your movement. Take it to the back. You're going to bring that leg back behind you. I need to move away from my wall. We're going to lift, lift, lift. It's kind of a little cross behind. Lift, 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 lift. Hold it here. Flex the foot, you're going to press away, press away, push, push. It's called a donkey kick, so if that helps you envision the motion. <laughs> Last one, nice work. Before we move to the other side, we're going to take just a quick change and we're going to grab some weights, do a little tricep work here. I want you to think of just a small motion. I don't want you to make it too big. We're going to just hinge forward slightly at the hips. The weights are going to come by our hips. And again, a nice long line from the head down through the hips. Little bend in the knees, and we're just going to lift, lift, lift those up, lift. Now, don't lock your elbows, but we want just a nice little lift there. Two more. Bring it down. Roll those shoulders. We're going to switch our chair to the other side. Keep the weights handy because we're going to come back to some triceps. Moving to the other side for our curtsies. We're going to start with that foot in the front. Remember, you can keep the standing leg heel down if you want, or for an extra challenge, you can lift that heel. Here we go. Front, back, front, and back. Nice work. Front, 
back. I can't see you, but I know you're doing an amazing job. I just know it. Last one. Hold it in the front, half range. Don't forget to breathe. Four, three, two, one. Take it to the back. I'm going to rotate. We're going to lift, lift. That foot's crossed back behind. Getting into this muscle right here. Hold it up, flex that foot, press out. Out, our little donkey kick. Four more. Woo! Bring it back down. Grab those weights. This time you're not gonna hinge forward quite so far. So we're not gonna really go forward like this. We're just kind of a tiny little bend in the knees. The weights are going to come back behind you and we're going to squeeze them together. So it looks like this. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Nice work. Now here's where it gets tricky. Ready? We lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift. Squeeze. Nice job. Two more. Woo! Did you feel those triceps? I felt those triceps. All right, go ahead and grab a drink. I've joked before that I can't hear you groan and moan, but I kind of know when you are. And I have one student say, you couldn't hear me, but I definitely was. So feel free to do all the moaning or groaning you want to do in your own home. All right, we're going to move this chair out of the way. And then this is specifically for arms. If you want to kind of turn it into an isometric hold for your legs, you could do that too if you feel like you want an extra challenge. If not, you're totally fine. So if you want to do some legs, you could just put them about a little wider than shoulders, and then bend those knees, feet facing forward. What we're gonna do is nice and slow. That's what I want you to think of as nice and slow. We are gonna take those weights in front, and we go up, out, down. Then reverse it. Nice work. Down. Up, out down, up, in, down. At first it feels like it's no big deal. You're like I got this. And then the longer we go, the more you really start to feel that burn. A lot of our exercises tend to be a little faster and sometimes those slow ones can just really get to you. Keep it going. Put a little smile on your face. Yay, Wednesday! Woo! Nice work. All right, we're gonna switch it up. Rotate those palms. We go up, out, down. Keep a little bend in the elbows. It's changed the angle, so make sure you don't lock out those elbows. Woo! Oh yeah, feel those arms. Down. Nice job. Keep it going. This is our last one. Dig deep. Out. 
and down. Woo! That is some heavy arms. I hope you're feeling it, but in a good way. We're going to go ahead and move into our core section. We finished all of our arms and legs, but there is a little bit of arms in our core section. So go ahead and grab your ball, and we're going to come so that the ball is back behind us, wedged in like a little bunny tail. And then the weights are actually there, not so much for arms, but a little more. So think of engaging your core. I don't want you to round your back. I want your chest lifted and chin off the chest. The weights are going to come in front to start. We go back, forward, press up back, forward, press up, back, forward, press up, back, forward, press up. Now if you'd like a little challenge, you can either, well if you want you can stay where we are. If you want a little more challenge, you can go back and then back. Gives you a little more in the core. Nice work. Exhale, 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 exhale. Make sure you're getting those little breaths in and out. Last one. Hold those arms in front. We just go back. Chin off the chest. Give me four more. Nice job. Give me just a little hug around those knees. Whew. Nice work. Let's grab a little drink and we're going to put that ball out of the way as well. Take a second to catch your breath. Okay, you have a couple of choices for this next one. Um, we're going to come to one knee here. If it bothers your knees at all, grab a little blanket or pillow, double up your mat, something to kind of put under that knee that's supporting us. Your choices are to use two weights or one. So if you use two, it looks like this. This is an oblique exercise, so this is just going to make it a little more challenging to engage those obliques to bring you up. If you want to use just one weight, you would hold it in the lower hand. So it's completely your choice which one you want to do. And you don't even have to use any weights if you're not feeling it today. You know you, so you do what works best for you. All right, here we go. Lift, lift. You're taking that lower weight down to the floor. Use those obliques to pull you back up. Two more. All right, we're going to go all the way down, halfway up. We don't get that release at the top. If it starts to feel like too much with the weights, put them down. Give me that little pulse. Keep your chest up. Don't curve towards your knee. Hold. You can see my weight's not really touching the floor. Hold. Woo! Give me four, three, two, one. Bring it back in. Nice work. <laughs> that one you'll probably be feeling later if I was to guess. So, I don't know. Sometimes those tiny little muscles, man, we feel them. All right, get into position for the second side. Switch yourself up. You grab weights if you need them. Switch weights if they're in one hand. You know the routine. Here we go. Take it down to the floor. Bring it back up. Lift. Lift. Use that right there to pull you up. 
two more. Half range, all the way down, halfway up. Woo! Nice work! And we take it down for that little pulse. Pulse, 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 pulse and hold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give me four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Nice. That is excellent work. Well done. Okay, we're going to put the weights down. This one is a little bit slower, so you don't have to worry too much about your heart going crazy. We're going to bring it down to our elbow. It's kind of like a side plank, but we're going to keep that bottom knee down. The top leg is going to be straight and is going to hover. And then I want you to just press your palm to the floor rather than make a fist. So keep the shoulder over the elbow, flat palm. The other hand is going to come up to your head. Now we're going to take that leg forward, bring it back, rotate elbow to your hand. Forward, rotate, forward, rotate. That front leg, or I should say that top leg, swings to the back as that elbow comes down to your hand. Can you feel all the different muscles in your core? that are getting worked through this exercise. Last one. Hold it up. We're going to bring it forward, back, forward, back. Hold that core nice and stable. Don't let your hips or your upper body swing. Just move that leg. Hold the leg, rotate the upper body. Tap, 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 tap. Give me four more. Last one. Excellent work. Let's swing it around to the other side. Flat palm, shoulder over the elbow. Bottom knee is bent. Top leg is hovering. We swing it forward, rotate. Forward, rotate. Think about controlling the movement. Using that core to keep you stable. Last one. Hold it here and we bring that leg forward. Controlling our body so that we're not swinging the upper half. Two more. Hold that leg, rotate the upper body. Give me four more. Nice job. Excellent work. All right, let's grab another drink. We're going to move into a little downward dog, similar to what we did in our warm up. So I want you to. Um, Think of just being graceful <laughs> through this next move as much as we can be when we're in these positions. So I want you to start in a downward dog. Take that left ankle over the right and bring it up and then come out to plank as you draw toe to knee. Back to crossed ankle, toe to knee. Just a nice Sliding motion. Good 
This is our last one. Bring your knees down. Give me a little stretch here. Drop that lower back. Just get the little stretch. Forearms to the floor. Breathe. And then bring it back up to your downward dog. This time the right ankle crosses over the left. We bring it out, draw the toe to the knee, up and out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Excellent work. Drop those knees. Give me one more little stretch here. Woo! How did you feel? Did that feel graceful? Or maybe a little awkward? It's okay. It's all good. All right, <laughs> we're gonna move into a little bridge sequence. I want you to grab your ball and then we're gonna come so that we're laying on our backs. You're gonna put the ball midway between your knee and your hip. And feet are gonna be flat on the floor. One reason that we have the ball here is to make sure that we don't push our knees out too wide and get out of alignment. It's also gonna help us work our inner thighs just a little bit. So think of planting your feet on the floor and pressing your whole foot in as we do this bridge sequence. So I want you to start with your elbows, sorry, not your elbows, your arms overhead, and then we're gonna press up as we bring those arms down. So we go up, bring it up. I want you to squeeze that booty with every lift. Really squeeze it. You can squeeze the ball too. Give me two more. All right, I want you to hold those arms here. We're gonna bend the elbows, keep those hips lifted, and then you're gonna drop one hip, drop the other. Drop one, drop the other. Keep the hips high. Drop, drop, one more set. All right, now I want you to squeeze that ball. Squeeze, 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 two more. And we're gonna hold. Squeeze that ball with all you have. Woohoo! keep going, we're almost there. All right, you can release your squeeze, but we're not quite done. Bring the arms and the hips down. We're gonna go fast up, slow down. Fast up, slow down. Fast up, nice and slow. Fast up, nice and slow. Now we're gonna reverse that, okay? Nice and slow up, fast down. Slow up, fast down. Slow up, fast down. Slow up, fast down. <laughs> nice work. We just have one last piece of exercise before we get to stretch. So go ahead and slide that ball underneath your hips. Kind of just right underneath the hips. Don't have it underneath your lower back or all the way under your booty. Just kind of in that nice spot there. Hands are going to be flat on the floor next to your hips and I want you to bring those knees up to tabletop. We're going to tap one, tap the other. Tap one, tap the other. If you want to make this a little harder, you're going to take those legs 
further out. It's up to you. You can even straighten. Whew, that definitely ups the ante there. <laughs> Few more like that. Do you know what comes next? Both legs together. You decide how long your lever is. We just really want to get into those abs. Finish out strong. Breathe. Breathe. Two more. Bring it up. Tuck those knees into your chest. Give yourself a little hug. Whew, you made it. You made it to the very end. Please do not leave before we stretch. We want to make sure that we give a good stretch for those muscles that we work today. So stick around for the full stretch. Your body deserves it. All right, we are going to roll over and start our stretch sequence with a little downward dog. Bring it up, press into those heels. Give me a little pedal here. And I want you to lift that right leg up and bring it through into a runner's lunge. Keep the knee behind the front toe down into that hip. Stretch that left quad muscle. If you want, and it doesn't bother your knee, you can drop that back knee and then you're going to reach around with your right hand to grab the left foot. This will deepen your quad stretch. Feels really nice as long as it's not putting any strain on any knees. Go ahead and release. You're going to bring that front calf down to the mat. The back foot goes flat to the floor into our pigeon pose. Now I want you to just kind of start slow and as your body adjusts, you can gradually lower down. You can come to elbows or if you want and it feels good, you can even walk yourself all the way down to bring your forehead to the mat. Just whatever you can do to really open up the hip. Stretch through those glute muscles. Stretch through the thigh. Work on slowing your breathing. And then walk those hands back up. We're gonna unbend that knee, flex the foot back towards us into a little half split. Nice job. Slow that breathing. Go ahead, put that foot flat, hands come back up, then slide the right leg back, bring it to your plank, back to downward dog. Go ahead and lift that left leg, bring it through into that runner's lunge. Scoot it up however it takes you to get up there. Sometimes one leg is a little more flexible than the other. Just do whatever you need to to get it up there. Lengthen through that right thigh. And if you want, you can drop that back knee. Reach around with your left foot. Grab. Sorry, with your left arm, <laughs> grab your right foot. And 
Nice job. Go ahead and release. We're going to bring that front leg flat and start with our higher pigeon. Let our bodies adjust. And then as it does, we can walk it down as far as feels comfortable. Walk your hands back up. Go ahead and unbend that leg. Flex the foot back towards you in that half split. You should be feeling the stretch through the whole back of the leg. towards me. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together just as close to you as feels like a good place for your body. And then I want you to just kind of grab on to the outsides of your legs right here towards your knees. And then as it feels comfortable, lean forward. This outward grasp Kind of helps you open up just a little bit more in those hips. Like I said before, we're all at varying levels of flexibility and that's fine. So just find the thing that's going to help you stretch through the inner thigh and your hips just a little more. Find that good stretch. Take a big breath in, and as you exhale, come on up, extend the left leg, bring the right foot into your thigh. We're going to bring our arms up and fold forward over that leg, grab onto whatever you can reach, give yourself a little stretch here and then once you feel comfortable and you're kind of settled in that stretch I want you to open up your right arm so left arm and left leg are still near the floor the right arm is open up to the side bring it back down walk those hands up your leg Switch sides. Left foot into the right thigh. Arms come up. Fold forward. Grab onto whatever you can reach. And then we're going to open up that left arm. Look up towards the ceiling if it doesn't bother your neck. And bring it back down. Walk those hands in. All right, we're going to take the feet out wide. And then I want you to just kind of walk your hands out. You can even go a little wider if that helps you get a little deeper. And then I want you to walk your hands to, if you can, the outside of that foot. If you need to bring your legs in or if you can't quite get all the way, we're just going to try and really stretch those oblique muscles. Walk it back the other direction. 
And if you can, take it to the outside of that foot. Walk it back to the center. See if you can go just a little further. And then walk your hands back in. All right, go ahead, bring your feet to however feels nice for you to sit. And we're gonna bring those hands back behind us, clasp the hands to open up the shoulders and the chest. The front part of the shoulders, I should say. Feel free to move around in the stretch. And then go ahead and reverse it, pushing away from you. back to the front. We're going to bring one arm across the chest. Keep that shoulder drop down from your ear. It was lovely having you here today. Thank you for joining me. I hope that this was beneficial to you. I hope you feel like it was something that made you feel strong and ready to face the day. Go ahead and bring it back behind for a tricep stretch. Nice job. And then bring your hand forward. Gently grab your palm, not your fingers, but your palm and press back. Not too hard. We don't want to strain the joints of your fingers, just enough to stretch through that forearm and up into the bicep. And we'll go ahead and do that other arm. So bring it across the chest. So next week we will have a new set of exercises and we'll do that set for two weeks and then we'll just keep moving forward. I don't think any of us thought we would be doing this quite so long so we're just kind of adapting as we go. Reach back behind. If any of you have any particular sections or muscle groups that you would like me to focus on, feel free to let me know on the to next week's routine. Go ahead, bring that hand in front, grab the palm. Again, make sure that you drink today. If you start to feel a little stiff and, so and sore, just make sure that you're moving. Don't sit in a chair and not move for the rest of the day or you'll probably lock up and feel more sore. So just some gentle movement, a nice warm shower. <laughs> nice work. All right, go ahead and just gentle pressure on the crown of your head. Hold it here. And then we're gonna change this stretch just a little. I want you to take the opposite hand and press the palm down. We usually do fingertips to the mat, but this time I want you to just press that palm down. You should be able to feel that deep in the stretch a little bit. Don't feel like you have to pull on your head, just let gravity do the work. Other side. Press that lower hand down to the mat. And 
Now go ahead and drop your chin to your chest. Stretch through the back of your neck. And then press through your chin and look up to stretch the front. Back to center, take a nice big breath in. And exhale. Big breath in. And exhale. This time when you breathe in, think of breathing in all the good things, all the calm and peace. And as you exhale, release the stress or the anxiety, the tension. yourself relax find that calm center that brings us to the end of our class today Thank you so much for joining me. It was lovely to have you. I hope you have an excellent Wednesday and I will see you next week.